Well, good evening and welcome to Humorage at Home live worship. And this evening, um, it is our privilege and our pleasure to be able to lead you in a journey of spiritual worship. My name is Dion, and joining me tonight is my beautiful wife, Tina, and my three handsome and gifted sons, Jesse, Jared, and Joshua. And uh, we're really looking forward tonight to uh, be able to just lead you in, in worship. Um, whoever you may be, wherever you might be, uh, it is a pleasure to, to have you come into our home and um, in this awesome way, just to lead you in worship. Uh, when I think about God and God's people of old, um, they would travel from far and wide, uh, taking their sacrifices to the tent of meeting or later on to the temple. And what I find sad, although it might not have been for them, was that they were never able to enter into God's presence. But how fortunate are we today because of what Jesus did, his life, his death and his resurrection, that we can enter into God's presence. And tonight as we, we lead you in worship, that's, that's essentially what we want to do is to lead you into God's presence so that you may just know him, that you may feel him, that you may smell him the fragrance of the Lord and just be blessed by Him. And uh, even more so, how wonderful it is that God's Spirit lives in us. Um, so we hope that you will be blessed um, and that you will join along with the songs. Some songs you may know, some you may not, but just be blessed by it. So we're gonna, uh, I'm going to pray and then uh, we'll get into to worship. So let's just bow our heads and close our eyes. Uh, we bow our heads in reverence to God and we close our eyes so that we may open the eyes of our hearts to Him. Father in heaven, how we love you. We lift your name in all the earth. May your kingdom be established in our praises as your people declare your mighty works blessed be the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come blessed be the Lord God Almighty who reigns forevermore. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus and in the power of your Holy Spirit to worship you, to love you, to lift you up in our praises. Father, we come with expectant hearts and a desire, Lord, to, to love you with our music, to love you with our praises and our prayers. And we pray tonight that you will lead us by your Spirit, no matter who we are. We thank you, God, for this opportunity. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
begin this evening with those massive declarations about the God that we love and the God that we serve, the God who is merciful, the God who is alive, the God who is mighty, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And, uh, you know, Jesus says that if we lift him up, men and women will be drawn unto him. And tonight we know that, you know, there could be people that are seeking, people that are wanting to know more about Jesus, and of course those who, who don't know him. And um, we pray that the Spirit of God will meet each and every person that's tuning in tonight and in the days to come, and that they will have an experience of the Lord. One of my spiritual mentors and um, spiritual fathers taught me a Jewish word, a beautiful Jewish word called Yahle'al, which means to be expectant of God. And so as we sing, be expectant that He will meet you where you are and He will bless you. We continue to just praise Him. Thank you. 
finer and through his blood our hearts are, are purified and our hands are made clean so this is just a wonderful opportunity either sing or you know just be still hear what God is saying to you and bring before him those things that you think he needs to help you deal with in your life we're not perfect we just love God and he loves us
by the crowds of people, the priests who sing their praise. I hunger and thirst for your righteousness, but it's only found in one place. So take me in to the holy of holies. Take me in by the blood of the Lamb.
weekend uh, on faith and next week live work at Hume Ridge at home live worship is being led by Nick and Kate Roberts so we're looking forward to that so we began with declarations of who our God is I'm going to end with hope prophecy and the fact that Jesus is coming back again so we're going to end tonight with uh, days of Elijah so don't forget in your comments also let us know um, where you're tuned in from and uh, if you need prayer you need someone to call you just let those comments flow in and someone's going to re respond to you days of elijah
Lord keep you. May the Lord cause His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you and love you for the rest of tonight and the days to come. See you next time.